This is Micah, we're out here with Tenacity Ag. We're gonna do a trial run between the DJI T40 drone and the XAG P100 Pro, a true test. We have two Roadrunners in the back of trucks today. The Roadrunner comes in a complete package. It's got a generator, it's got charging stations, an electric pump that gets powered from the generator. It's got the nice storage box to the ditch side there. The big green hose reel fills up your drone, and then it's got a smaller hose reel for fresh water to keep things clean and tidy on the workplace here when you're out on a spray drone mission. The cone in the back, you can mix chemical right into your 200 gallon tank. And then as you see a little platform up top that the pilot can stand from an overview if he would like. We've got a 60 acre piece on both drones. We're gonna let them fly and see what we can do for acres an hour today. Let's take off. You got the P100 Pro off to the left, down by the end of the field, T40. The P100 Pro has about 10 mile an hour of an advantage on the T40. One guy running the hose reel, another guy changes the batteries. Most efficient tender time. The XAG has a 13 and a half gallon fill tank where the T40 has a 10 and a half gallon fill tank. So these fields are side by side. You can see this building site here. Um, this is where we were set up with our tender, was right, right off this um, road right here. Uh, the DGI was operating on the west side, XAG operating on the east side. Task area here, 47.1 acres on the DGI and 47.44 acres on the XAG side. So for operation parameters, we had application rate of two gallons per acre there and 7.54 liters per acre, which is also two gallons per acre. Max speed on the DJI, max speed on the XAG. Route spacing, we were using a route spacing of 32 feet. That's kind of what most DJI guys use, it seems like, for fungicide applications. And here on XAG, we're using 9.1 meters, which is about 28 feet. So slightly narrower swath uh, with this P100 Pro. The height above uh, the terrain that we were using was 15.1 feet here and five meters over here on XAG. So you can see very similar fields, perfectly square, perfectly rectangular, no point rows or anything. Approach route or connection route to the field was the same for both drones because we were set up right between these two fields. This is the record of the route that was performed. This is a nice record that XAG gives. We're actually going to put a link to this record in the video description, so you guys can click on that and pull up this record. You'll see all the parameters, how the route was performed with the XAG drone. Uh, one thing to notice here actually is you can see the time down here that the whole operation took. Um, so this entire operation of 47 8.4 acres, 47.4 acres, took 51 minutes and 55 seconds. And actually that's even a little bit off because you can see we almost finished this field, um, but we had to come back and get like 30 feet with the last tank. So that's not quite realistic um, when it comes to truly measuring acres per hour. But even with that little glitch at the end there, we still were pretty close to an acre per minute. We measured this field at a half mile um, because we felt like that was the most standard size field that people are operating with. 